Can you tell if your dog is loving, tolerating, or hating something? The clues are in the dog's body language. To help us learn how to speak dog, we welcome back Robin Bennett and Susan Briggs, the dog gurus. Hi. Hi. Hi, it's great to be with you. Susan, where do we start? Well, let's start with the mouth. Is the mouth open, which means usually the dog is loving the interactions, or is the mouth closed, which is your first clue that they may be tolerating or moving towards hating an encounter. The other thing is, you know, when we get uncomfortable, we kind of have signs that we're stressed a little bit. Well, so do dogs. So they may lick their lips or they may even yawn. Those are clues that the dog may just be tolerating the situation that they're in right now. Robin, how about when dogs jump on you? Does that mean he's happy to see you? Well, if you just came home from school, it might mean he's just happy to see you. But if he's in a new environment and he's jumping on you a lot and you've been with him the whole time, it might be him saying, hey, I really need help. Can you get me out of here? It might mean that he's really starting to get upset with the situation and wants to go home. Susan, let's talk about sniffing and scratching. Do they have special significance? Well, they do. And it can mean that the dog just has an itch with a flea or he's smelling something interesting. But sometimes you'll notice that your dog may sniff or scratch when you know he doesn't have those things. And what it can mean, it kind of goes back to those stress signals that they're uncomfortable and really trying to determine if this situation is safe or not. So it's really a sign that they're a little bit uncomfortable. Robin, if your dog is signaling it's not comfortable in a situation, what can we do? Well, one of the easiest things to do is just move some distance between you and your dog and whatever it is that might be scaring him. So just back away or take him down the street a little bit. Another thing you can do is if you can't get away, you can just step in between your dog and whatever it is he might be afraid of. So those are two really good options. If you happen to have something really fun or tasty that your dog can play with or eat, you can try that too. So try just distracting your dog, get him to do something else. Take some treats from you, throw a ball for him, run around and play with him. Just get him to think about something other than what is worrying him. All right, great advice. Thanks, Susan and Robin. You're welcome, thanks for having us. It's great to be here with you. One of the best quotes about dogs comes from the American writer, Josh Billings. He said, a dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than he loves himself. Next to your parents, of course. Anyway, a dog's love is a two-way street. You have a responsibility to treat your dog with love and respect as well.